Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we'll see how to develop a video recorder Android app in Android 14 API level 34. Let's start our Android Studio. I can make it as a video recorder app. And so things I'll leave it as it is. I can choose uh, 33 or 34. Uh, it's almost the same. Uh, however, I'll use the device API 34 for running and demonstrating this. So let the environment load. It may take a while. My environment is loaded now. And I'll do one thing. I'll start the emulators in parallel on the right hand side. And first and foremost, I'll define all the permissions required in the manifest file. So some of the permissions which I require is uh, permissions to, I don't know, uh, read. Okay. Yeah, read the files. That definitely. Uh, I'll put it for all three. Although I don't think I need uh, images and audio, I just need mostly the video, but I'll just put for the sake of yeah, here. Okay, my emulator has come up on the right hand side, uh, the default layout. I'll just minimize it for the time being and I'll continue with my coding here. So, what else I need is for camera access, and I think that's all. Probably internet you can put it doesn't harm anywhere. Most of the apps is anyway require uh, this one for internet. And it says some error here. Add uses feature. Yeah, of course, since camera is a hardware, so just make sure you add this part or you just let Android Studio do the job. So once that is done, I think I can minimize this left hand side and I'll go to the Java code. And first and foremost, I'll define I'll ask the end user all these permissions. So for that. What I will do, I will use activity compat dot request permission. Context is this one, and then new string. And in one uh, loop only, I can ask for all, which is basically one was camera, I remember, the other was uh, video. Uh, I think I should go back and copy paste. Read media video, so I was hoping to get it as a shortcut, but no, it's not coming. Okay, press Alt Enter to include that. Alt Enter in this one, I think use the second one. Okay, uh, permission manifest, not the permission group. Okay, and what else I need is video done. I need for images, so images again, press Alt Enter to include the right uh, import of the library audio. And I think that's all. And then I'll move and give the package manager permission granted. So that uh, the end user, it will ask the for the permission to be granted by the end user of this app. Once I have it, then I think I'll first switch to the my layout and try to complete the layout. So over here, what I'll do is I'll add a couple of buttons probably to start the recording. So start video recording a bit long name but i think that's too fine and one more button to stop the video recording a stop video recording and i think i'll have to give some constraints to both and this text view i don't think i need it so i can delete it um, just by pressing the delete button, perfect. And I'll include a surface view to see the preview of whatever we are recording in the camera. This is not a mandatory, but if you want, you can just add it here like this. Yeah, perfect. So that's done. I think from my layout point of view, we are done. I'll go back quickly to my Java code, and over here, what I'll do is I'll first and foremost create a class variable for surface view. And in the own kit mode itself, I'll define or associate the surface view with the respective widget ID, which is basically surface view itself. You can change it, it doesn't matter, it's just a name, a variable name, but over here it's the same. Then I'll create two public methods, which one is a start video recording, and the other one will be for the stop. I think you could have rightly guessed it, so I'll just do one thing, control C, control V, and I'll just change it from a start to a stop. Perfect. I'll go back 
and over here in the for both the buttons is the on click attribute i'll associate it with the respective methods again this names doesn't matter you can give any name but why i give a similar name to the button is because it's easy for me to understand which button associates to which particular method now once we have it i'll create another class variable for media recorder private media recorder media recorder so we'll use the media recorder apis to why this is giving error over here is because it has not been inflated yet so you can ignore it for a time being once you run this read on this app this error will go off and in the onfit method we can do one thing we can create the media recorder now in the start first uh, start video so first what we'll do is we'll create the storage uh, place so where we want to store it so for that we'll use the storage manager get system service the storage service perfect email room type cast it cast it to cast it to storage manager. yeah perfect do it and then once we have our storage manager defined then we pull the storage volume out of it so storage volume and the storage volume would be nothing but from the storage manager dot get the storage volume and this will be in the form of list so do get and the index will be zero for the zero for internal storage if you are planning to use external storage like some kind of uh, micro sd card and all then use respective one i guess and then once we have it then we'll create a file out of it so file menu file problem video press alt enter to include the required library uh, for the file uh, object file class and over here we will define new file and the path name so path name will be nothing but storage volume whatever we have defined and in this storage volume we will get the directory then we can get the path so this will take me to the internal storage and then we can append it with whatever we need so say for example i will use the download folder download folder and in this the file name could be anything you can hard code or i'll do one thing i'll define it as a kind of variable so system dot current time in millis and appended by dot mp4 perfect so i'll do one thing i'll just make it like this here so this will take me to the downloads folder and there the filing will be this one. So once our filing is ready, now we can start defining our media recorder, all the attributes. So set video source will be the first one and the video source will be nothing but the camera. Okay, I don't need this camera. I think they are confusing. I need the media recorder camera. Okay, I'll do one thing. I'll just type the complete media recorder dot video source dot camera yeah, this is what i wanted and apart from this i'll also have to set the audio set audio source set audio source and in this audio source what i'll do is i'll use the source as mic yeah so apart from this i will have to set the output format so output format will be yeah this last one is what I was looking for and this will be of course I think I can put mpg4 yeah so that's all and yeah now we have to also put the encoder right so I can put say for example set video encoder and the video encoder could be I'll leave it as default Similarly, I'll do for audio encoder. I think these are required uh, uh, inputs, so make sure you provide it. Set audio encoder, and this also leave it as default. So once I have it, what else I need is probably the output file where it has to set output file, and the file could be we have already defined the file on the top, so we can just do this way, and this will be fine. Also, these are the yeah. This much is sufficient. I'll do one more thing. I'll set the limit time limit 
therefore the ample the maximum duration for which it should uh, it should record so say for example i'll set around 5 seconds 5 seconds of max recording i will also set the max size this will help to prevent the over usage of your uh, space so i'll just do is max I'm not getting anything so set max by uh, this is what i was looking for and over here what i can do it is i can set it to around say for example 2 mb or something like that or probably say for example what i'll do is i'll make it 5 mb 1 2 3 1 2 3 yeah so this, till this part will be this much kilobyte and yeah so i think max 5 mb okay so that's all i guess then uh, yeah one more thing i can do it is i can set the preview display and for that i can get the surface view okay i think here i have to give the input is the surface not the surface so this will be the my input perfect so this will display the preview in my screen apart from this i guess now we can set it to prepare. Prepare. So it's giving some error. So we try catch. So I think this, yeah, if there's some error here, so it will throw a try catch. What I can do it is instead of this, I can use something called toast. This should be fine. The text should be. Uh, what to be the text over here? Uh, probably I can do one thing. E dot. To string i can print the exception itself and instead of short i will always prefer long because it gives us ample time to see through it so once that is done i guess i'm done i can just start the recording and that's all then in the stop recording method i think you can do a guess this will be the first thing will be a stop what is the other thing could be media recorder dot release yeah i think that's all is what I need. So if I rerun the app and let's see how it works. It's asking me some access. So while using this app, allow, allow all. Yeah, perfect. So I think I will. I'll start the recording. Okay, stop. Okay, uh, it's a stopping. Uh, the app crashed, and if I check correctly, so what I'm doing over here is everything looks good to me. I'm setting the audio source and video source. Uh, I mean video source. Okay, I think I got the problem. We are trying to access the audio source from mic, so for that we have to get a permission uh, from the user for accessing the mic as well. So for that, what I'll do is I'll add another permission over here. Which is basically which is permission record audio. This one was missing, I guess. I missed to add it initially, but no problem. I can add always right now record audio. And I'm not sure. It's, I was expecting it to add. Okay, so it added this one. Perfect. Now let me rerun and see what happens. So this time I'm expecting it to ask again. Okay, so let me to record audio yeah, while using this app. I know if I start recording, perfect. So if you saw the there is some video, of course, it's an emulator, there is no real camera. I'll demonstrate it with my actual camera as well. So I'll just stop the recording. And I guess that's done. And if I go to the files, downloads, so this is just now created. I just start, yeah. See, this was the recording which we have. So I'll do one thing, I'll just now quickly switch to my real phone to show you the recording. So to connect with the real phone, what I'll do is, I'll use this pair device option over here. And in this, I'll scan this QR code from my actual device. It may take a couple of seconds to connect. Of course, it got connected perfectly fine. 
and no i will run the app in my real device so let's wait for device to boot up and yeah so installation is in progress so this is my device and it's asking for all the permissions either i can give it or from here or i can okay i'm not sure why it got disconnected or i can use my actual phone so i'm giving all the permissions as i gave during the demonstration perfect so over here i will start the recording now so let me click the button and over here i am pointing to the my this one code what i am doing and i think this goes let me because i think it was just for five seconds right so now i stop the recording so i am starting the so now you can hear my two voices of course because I'm running it, okay. It's getting distracted, but it is the same uh, video. I'll do one thing. I'll record one more small video and play that uh, of the score. Okay, I did another recording and I'm playing it. So let me connect. I'm not sure why it's getting disconnected. Yeah, if you see, I have another five seconds video recorder which I'm of course playing a loop in my actual phone over here. Yeah, perfect. So I think this is anywhere disconnected. So I'll switch to my emulator now. Of course, there is no app running there, so that's fine. And so that's all I wanted to show you in this uh, short video. I think I can rerun this app on this one if you want to just bring up the layout. And yeah, of course, over here it will come like a hazy because there is no real camera. But in the actual camera, of course, I've shown you the demonstration. So that's all. I hope this video is useful to you. If you have any questions or suggestions, then please put in the comment section below. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.